Welcome back to the second of our Sonos driver videos, uh, which demonstrate the integration of our new Sonos driver for a LAM. Uh, this time we're going to have a look at the single zone controller, uh, which is the most basic form uh, of the drivers that, that we got. So to start with, we come to zone controllers and uh, we click add new zone controller. And once this list has popped up, uh, we simply navigate down to Sonos. So there it is, our Sonos single zone controller. Uh, it might be that this driver doesn't show up on here. If it doesn't show up, we simply click the search folder button and navigate to the folder where you've got the driver stored. Uh, but fingers crossed, most of the time it should ping up on, on here. So once it's there, we click OK and OK again and uh, then that driver will be added into configurator then we enter the activation key uh, that you should have been provided with uh, if not drop us an email and we can get you on sorted and uh, we click apply and then we click activate and that's the driver activated then in terms of the IP address, this is the IP address of the Sonos player that we want to control. So it's recommended to assign the Sonos uh, with a fixed IP on the router, so reserve that specific IP that your Sonos address is using so as it doesn't change. So in this instance, this test Sonos is on uh, 1.153. So click apply again and that will store that. We're then going to go to zones and uh, we've already added in the normal Alan Sonos driver up here which has added Music Source 1 and Music Source 2 uh, and the one we're going to control is Music Source 2. So we select that here and uh, let's give it a, a nice looking icon as well uh, just to be thorough. Okay, and let's give the zone a name. So obviously this will be an appropriate name in here. We're just going to call it Sonos Test. And we click OK. I'm just going to add that zone to an interface group so that we're able to physically see it. And uh, then if we open up Viewer and navigate to Media, and Sonos test. So that is now turned on that zone and that's essentially it. That's the, uh, the full driver integration completed. Um, we can mute it. Just pull that down so you can see. And we can unmute it. We can ramp the volume up. It uses an absolute volume ramping as you should have seen in the first video so whatever the level is in a LAN it will change the Sonos level to match so you know exactly where you are um, in event maps themselves you're able to set specific so you can set the uh, this Sonos player to turn on at 10% 5% uh, whatever variable you'd like uh, you can create event maps to increase by set amounts as well uh, because of this absolute volume feature that we've got in the driver. Um, additionally, we could start music playing. Um, this is using the normal Sonos driver in a LAN. It started everything playing, uh, but we've built in another feature whereby if we turn that zone off, it will then stop whatever's playing uh, so that the music doesn't carry on. Uh, so that's our Sonos single zone controller.